All right, so I have promised that I was going to do a um, screencast where I do visual genome with me talking th it through so that people can feel like maybe they're doing it right. This week, which I take to mean Tuesday to Tuesday or Tuesday to Sunday, I have no idea. They're up to 70 cents per um, 25. So it makes it slightly better if you can start flying through them. Um, excuse the baby screaming in the background. She, I've left the room and she's in a panic. So anyways, I'm going to quickly go through this and hopefully it'll help people um, if they're know if they're on the right track. Um, so if I'm, mine have all been approved. So take it for what it's worth. I'm in no way saying that my way is the way to do it. But I would just encourage you to kind of get your set of rules and then follow them. That way, if you do get a random reject, you can say, well, you know, the last 10, 12, whatever, these are the kind of the, the guidelines I've been following and never had a reject and hopefully, you know, whatever. Um, so, okay, here we go. So this one, Apple MacBook computer, Apple is the description of the computer. So really the only object that we're talking about here is the computer, add the object, draw the box, you know, per the directions. Oh, there's my dryer too. Um, keep it tight within the object as best as you can. It's harder for me to do with Screencastify on, but there we go. Save it, move on. Uh, two bolts on an arrow. This one's an interesting one. And again, um, the, the blue, I was going to say green, the blue box is there to sort of guide you. Sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. Um, here we have a plural um, with two bolts. So we're going to do two separate bolts, one, two bolts, and then the arrow. Okay. If you read the directions, sh they want you to do it in the order that it's stated in the uh, sentence. So yeah, so make sure you do that as well. Meaning that the words should be in the order, same order as they appear in the sentence or the object should be in the same order as they appear in the sentence. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry, I'm going extremely slow, but uh, Screencastify really, really uh, kills me. Okay, here's one where it's a little strange. You may do it differently. Some of these words are descriptors, but there's objects in there. So I say, even though it's describing him, I say that it's the man. And I'm going to get the whole man in there as best as I can. Um, it's the man. This is one of the crappy ones where it, it's kind of out of your, the bottom goes out of your, your view. So you got to dig for the cross sometimes. Not fun. Your lube. Moving on. Okay, here's the task. Crack in pavement. So again, we have crack. <laughs> Sorry. In pavement. So... The crack. There's the crack. And then the pavement, which is like most of the bottom of the picture. So I just grab as much as I can. Save. Man, you know, precision, but you know. shelf. There's a shelf. Clutter is not really an object to me. It's more of a description. So I'm not going to do anything with that word. Big white sign <clears throat> on top of the snow. So I'm going to grab the sign and the snow. Again, another crappy one where it's just way too big of a picture. So I'm going to grab the snow and save that. Moving on. Okay, we have a helmet. On the head, another object of a skier. Uh, so actually, oops, let me go back here. So we have a, I'm going to say a helmet. Helmet on the head. Head <clears throat> of a skier. So 
I'll grab the whole skier. Again, I mean, I don't, I'm not super duper precise and it hasn't been an issue for me, but I try to get as best that I can. Okay, here's a good one. Leaves have fallen to the ground. So leaves and ground to your object. Per the directions, you're only going to do five leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. And then ground. Okay, so, and then what I do is I just try to take, I'm going to take five five bunches of leaves here. I'm not going to try to find, you know, individual leaves. That's a little, a little much for even 70 cents. Alrighty. So leaves, leaves, leaves. And again, according to the directions, the, the blue box is just a guide. So, um, it's just a guide. So I, Sometimes it guides me in the right place. Sometimes it, it obviously doesn't guide me in the right place. So this is an easy one. This is a boy. It's a boy. Draw it. Box in the boy. Um, some people can fly through these. I've gotten a little better at it. Um, it's definitely a filler for me. At 70 cents, it's a little better. Um, I'm faster without my screencastify on. Um, thick black wire. So wire is the only word here. It's singular. So I'm going to do exactly as it was done in the, in the, uh, original picture. And the cat, pretty simple again. Cat, take a little snap of this fluff ball. Alrighty, moving on before one of my children come in. Long white extended bus. Out of all that, you really just have a bus. And draw the bus and try to grab the whole bus as far as I can see it. Um, white sign with church times on it. So again, I I take this is my my guidelines. I'm gonna say church um, because there is a church in the picture. And I think even though the word church is describing the times, um, I don't know, that's just the way I do it. You may feel differently and you're entitled to that Roll. And here I'm going to say toilet is a separate word and paper. Others may put toilet paper together. I think both are technically right. Um, so that's your roll. This is your toilet. So, I mean, we've gotten a few decent examples. I would say, I think I got all of the things that I wanted to in here. I mean, the five, um, well, that's a strange picture. Um, <laughs> zipper on fabric. Okay, so zipper and fabric. I think I've managed to, to talk through all of the points that um, are in the directions as well as all of the points that I wanted to make on my own. Um, the most being that I'm gonna get off this picture. It's creepy. Um, that you never do more than five of an object. If uh, the reference is to uh, a few items and there's more of that item. Like if it says the two, you know, two boys are fighting and there's 10 boys in the picture. I only do two because it only referenced two. Um, um, again, girl shirt sleeveless to me in this case doesn't really apply because um, it's sleeveless, so it doesn't exist. I don't know. Again, sometimes I even sit back and question myself, but I haven't got any rejections yet. I think they're kind of asking for your best effort. Uh, oh, the other thing I would probably note is that um, they did mention that there's some bad data in here. So if you get something like if this picture that you're seeing right now, if it said um, the elephant is walking across the plane, you would write bad sentence and you would just put the box in anywhere you can. And uh, that's how you would do that. All right. So that's all I got for now. And uh, thank you for listening to me babble for a few minutes.